Good evening, everybody. Uh, let me start by welcoming all of you to Overseas Development Institute. I'm Kevin Watkins. I'm director here. Uh, it's, it's a great pleasure to have so many of you here. We, we haven't only filled this room, but we filled two overflow rooms. And we have over 500 people online, including people in DFID um, <laughs> and UNDP and other UN agencies. And I, I, I think uh, in no small measure that's because of our keynote speaker. So a huge welcome to you, Secretary of State, and thank you for being here with us. And we're, we're all very much looking forward to hearing your, your keynote. I, I also wanted to mention in, uh, ahead of the keynote that we're hosting this event with, with Bond, and it's great to have Ben Jackson with us. And Ben is going to moderate the question and answer session that will follow the, the keynote. Uh, for those of you who are inclined to tweet, I have to read out the uh, relevant details. Uh, so the hashtag is UK aid, and our handles are at ODI Dev and at Bond NGO. Uh, just a very brief word on the running order. The Secretary of State will deliver her keynote outlining priorities for DFID and the UK government for around 25 minutes. After that, Ben is going to moderate the question and answer session. Uh, and the Secretary of State has to leave sharp at seven, so we're going to be very strict about uh, keeping the questions brief and to the point. Uh, be before handing over, I want to make a couple of very brief remarks. The, the, the first is really, and uh, I, I hesitate to speak on behalf of everybody in the room, let alone the online audience, but is really to recognize the importance of the political statement and the political commitment that the government has made to the 0 0.7 target. And, you know, I, I, I do think that this is a period in which it would have been very easy to make the aid budget a soft target, you know, a, a period of intense financial pressure in the UK. And so, you know, I, I think a huge congratulations to you, Secretary of State, and, and to the Prime Minister and others who have made that commitment and, and really held to the line on that. I, I also wanted to thank you personally for a, a, a cause that's very close to the heart of a lot of people here in ODI and I know more broadly, which is for the work that you've done to raise the issue of violence against girls and opportunities for young girls. And I think it's an example of really trying to tackle the very hard attitudinal. You know, I think as a research community, we sometimes look at um, easy to identify policies and financial levers, but shifting attitudes is the really tough part of, of a lot of this. And you know, you've, you've invested an awful lot personally in, in raising these issues and getting them onto the agenda. So a huge thank you for that. Lo looking ahead, you know, I, I guess in politics, every moment is a watershed moment. But I, I think there is a sense in which this, we are at something of a watershed in many areas of international development. You know, one of them is the transition from the MDGs to the, to the Sustainable Development Goals. And we know there's a huge unfinished agenda from the MDGs, and there, there is a danger, I think, that we lose sight of that. And if you look at the projections towards 2030, on current trends, we'll still have around 3.5 million avoidable child deaths. So I think keeping the focus on the people who have been left behind and left out of the MDG agenda in some cases is absolutely critical. We have a whole raft of summits coming up around the corner. Um, Addis, the uh, Unger summit in September, Paris, and then the humanitarian summits. And it, it does seem to me that this is a moment of great opportunity because if we can get Addis right, it'll create a sort of positive momentum of course, if you get it wrong, it can become the first domino that starts bringing down the other dominoes. And so, you know, the, we're, I think we're all looking forward to hearing some of your thinking about the opportunities that these summits provide. I, I think the last of those summits, and I know this is a cause very close to your heart, the humanitarian summit, is an area of, of great concern for all of us because there's a sense in which the humanitarian system is clearly buckling under pressure that is unprecedented really in the post-war period. And so again, I know this is something that's gonna be a major, major concern for you. And there's also a very broad beyond aid agenda. I, you know, I guess one of the things that's happened 
following the 0 0.7 commitment is that there's been a lot of attention, positive and negative, on the 0 0.7 and the aid budget. But I think there is a sense in which aid is just one part of a much wider toolkit of policies through which we're attempting to grapple with tough problems of interdependence, you know, which we see in the debates on migration, on climate, <coughs> on conflict in different parts of the world. Um, and again, not wanting to speak on behalf of anybody, but I think all of us here as a research community and a, as an NGO community, that we're really in the business not just of trying to provide world-class research, but providing world-class advocacy to shift opinion and inform the policies that I, I think you're trying to take forward in, in your role at, uh, at, at DFID. So Secretary of State, the floor is yours, and thank you so much again for being here.